Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk about YouTube's new change when it comes to the dislike count. Now, that count is going to be hidden. You won't be able to see it anymore. It's a rollout change, so you may still see it on this video. But I think this is great for new creators, because there's going to be a huge amount of creators who will be able to upload stuff without worrying that, hey, they're going to be disliked by a few people. Now, I think this is great, especially since when people start creating videos, it's easy for them to get dislike targeted. So there will be a, a small group of people who perhaps will dislike the video and that can influence other people's opinions when they start watching this person's video. They may see that, hey, this person has a lot of dislikes already. I'm not going to watch them. So that's going to be bad for that creator because now they're saying, hey, there's a huge amount of dislikes. And also, if they see a huge amount of dislikes like as a viewer, they may feel the need to conform and think, okay, so this, this must be a video I should dislike too, and then end up disliking it as well, because they're, they're already persuaded by the, the opinion. Say if I told you, hey, this, this restaurant isn't that good, then you go in expecting it to not be good. Are you going to think it's good? It's sort of like social proofing, right? there's already social proof that people have said it's bad. So I think it's great because now people won't be able to easily dislike target and they did find that there was a reduction in dislike targeting with the dislike count being hidden. Now, unfortunately, this means though that if you watch a video, you won't be able to tell before watching if it's actually good content or not. And YouTube content creators will be able to get away with stuff which should be called out on. For example, if there's a family and the mother is always like, insulting the child like to an excessive amount, that that's not going to be good for people to watch. Any insulting in general shouldn't be allowed, but if this is continuously happening and the content creator is getting away with it, and people are just able to see, okay, this video has a million likes, but they didn't see, okay, well, this should be disliked, or it doesn't have dislikes, you can't really see and... Uh, if content's actually good or bad in that sense and there's going to be a huge number of people especially young children who perhaps will be having this impression absorbed by them and thinking hey this is normal behavior and what is norms norms always shift with society and everything so unfortunately this stuff will, will happen and this stuff does happen on tiktok you you'll be able to see that there will be content which is perhaps very bad but you won't be able to see that it's it's actually bad until you go into the comments. Now the, the benefit though is that with comments people will be able to actually share more constructive criticism and stuff like that. The dislike button will still be there so it's not totally gone like on other platforms it doesn't exist so if a content creator does actually genuinely care about well how they're being perceived and are they actually doing something perhaps they don't realize they're doing something bad they'll be able to see in the analytics section still that you know this video has dislikes and they'll be able to change their ways on based on that it just won't really affect the viewers so you know there's not really an easy way to tackle with this youtube did start experimenting with it earlier on in the year so this is the result they did find as well that viewership didn't change whether or not the dislike count was shown or not so even if a video does have a huge number of dislikes, people will still watch it regardless. So in that sense, it doesn't make much difference. But yeah, unfortunately, people I think will be able to get away with stuff which should be called out upon and easily, you know, called out on through showing a dislike button right below a video rather than having to scroll down. But yeah, it's, you know, some positives come, some benefits come, and I think it's gonna help a lot of the new creators. So let me know what you think about the change down below in the comments i'd like to hear what you think about it and what you think a solution could be instead of this because obviously you know there could be a better way of doing things not discussed yet and that's uh, the end of the video for me